if you saw in the YouTube community um, posts or on my social media, um, I posted something the other day that said we did something that we never thought we would do and we couldn't be more excited about it. So most of you guessed what it was because my picture was totally obvious. Um, that was kind of the point. Um, but if you haven't seen it, then you don't know that we are getting a puppy. Yay! We are so excited. This was totally unexpected. Like. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a quick puppy haul, um, showing you guys some of the things that we got to get ready for our new puppy that we're picking up soon. Some of these things are basic necessities that if you are getting a new dog, you are likely going to need, um, and some of them are not. So without further ado, let me show you all the cute puppy stuff. The first thing that we got um, was obviously her leash and a harness. Um, I looked at a lot of different ones and I really liked this Puppia brand, um, if you can see. And this is like a charcoal gray color and then I got this leash. I really liked this leash um, and I want to say I think this is a four foot leash. Um, and it's got like a soft padded like handle up here, but I really liked it because it's reflective and I know that Nico um, wants to walk the dog on his morning walks or in the evening um, and a lot of times he goes when it's a little dark out and so um, I really wanted a reflective leash. So we got those two and then we also got some chew toys and I got this little this Papuccino, it's Starbucks French Frenchy roast. <laughs> Little chew toy, which I think she's gonna love, and she's so tiny right now. So um, this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was when I saw it. I got everything off of Amazon, and I will leave links in the description box below. Um, but yeah, this is much smaller than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be kind of big, but I'm actually really glad that it's small because she's really tiny and so I won't have to wait to get this to her. So that's one of her two toys. And then the boys wanted a little tug of war chew rope. So we got one of those. Um, so we got these. They actually came in a pack of four. There are these miniature tennis balls. Um, Nick Daddy already took one out of the pack and he put it in the little dog bed with his stuffed animal dog until we get the puppy. Um, so it came in a pack of four. I also got this little fox and it squeaks. And this is kind of bigger, so I'm probably going to wait a little bit to give her that. And then I saw this and it was so cute that I was like, oh, I've, we've got to get her that. And so I'm probably going to hold off on this too because it's kind of bigger. And so I'm going to wait until she's a little bit bigger for this. But oh my gosh, it is a Central Perk chew toy. And so it says friends up here. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. And it's got like the little rope handle. Um, and so I thought that was super cute. And so that's all in terms of toys and chew toys. Um, we did get one little pack of treats. I didn't want to get too many treats until I know what she likes um, because I know some dogs will love a treat and other dogs will hate them. Um, and so I got this one, they're lamb and salmon treats. Um, and I got one just one little pack because I do want to start housebreaking her right away. Um, the boys and I have actually been taking a master class um, by Brandon McMillan. He's the um, host of the show Lucky Dog, if you've seen it. Um, but his master class is awesome. Like, I'm really, really excited about it. And so we don't have her crate yet, um, but I'm definitely going to be crate training her. Um, we get a crate with when we pick her up. And so we'll have her little crate um, with the pad in it, and then we'll be crate training her and trying to just, you know, housebreak her and teach her basic commands, just starting with like sit. Um, and so, yeah, it's really the master class. If you're looking to train a dog, this master class is awesome. Um, so the next thing I got was this Burt's Bees brush, and I liked that it had the metal side, it's double sided, it's got like the pin side, and then it's got like the hemp bristles on the other side. Um, which we're going to need for her. So I got that. Then we also got um, a potty bell. There's a lot of different kinds of potty bells. Like I didn't even know potty bells were a thing because they weren't a thing back when 
we were housebreaking my dog, the indoor dog that I had had, um, when I was younger at home with my parents. And so you just, you know, you just watch for the dog if it started circling or sniffing, you know. Um, but I did a ton of research and I discovered that potty bells were a thing. And I actually really like the idea of them because I know that we're going to be taking her places with us and traveling with her. And so I want her to be really good at not messing in the house. Um, and so that's like my top priority. So I really like the idea of a potty bell. So basically this is a leather one. There's a whole bunch of different styles. Some you like screw into the wall. This one um, you hang on the doorknob. Every time um, she has to go out, before she knows to do it, you take her paw and you hit the bell um, and then you take her out to go potty. And so I really like this because I can bring it with us. So if we go um, someplace else, I can hang the bell on the door that we'll be using to take her out, show her where it is, um, and hopefully that will help her, um, you know, stay in her routine and not have accidents. So then we have her little food and water bowls, and I like that it comes in this like bone. It's like a silicone pad, um, and so it's non-slip, so she can't push her bowl around. And I like that it kind of has a ridge, so that if you know water splashes a little bit or um, you know, food, the kibble falls out, it'll fall into the mat, hopefully. Um, and also these bowls are really small, which is all she needs right now because she's not that big of a dog. Um, and so, yeah, I really like this. It comes in a bunch of different colors um, and sizes. So if you need them bigger, you can certainly get them bigger. Um, but I liked this one, I like the black. And so that is her food and water bowl. And then I did get this pack of three blankets. There's this one, this is my favorite. It's got like the little bones. Um, and I'm gonna take this with us when we pick her up from the breeder and have him rub it around where she sleeps and on mom and dad um, so that when we bring her home, I can keep this in her crate with her. And they say that the scent of her parents and her surroundings, you know, the surroundings that she was used to at the breeder, she's familiar with that scent and it kind of calms them down. Um, and yeah, there's three. There's one, I think the other one has I don't even know what the other two have on it. Oh, this one has like little hearts. And then this one has little stars, but I really like the bones. I wish they were all three bone blankets. But anyway, they're just tiny. I'll show you the size. And they come in different sizes, but she's a puppy and she's not that big of a breed, so I didn't need anything cute. So this is the size of the blankets. I don't know exactly, let me see if it says. Yeah, it doesn't say what the dimensions are, but yeah, so those are the blankets. And then before I realized that she was going to come with a crate um, and that we were going to be crate training her for those first few weeks, I bought her a bed. Um, and it's just got like this black and white check pattern. It's like a chenille on the outside and like a soft like um, velvet on the inside and it's non-skid on the bottom. But I'm not gonna give this to her right away, I don't think. Um, because she's gonna be sleeping in the crate and I really want her to get used to her crate. Um, okay, now these things are just a little fun. Um, so most of this you kind of did need. You need a brush, you need food and water bowls, um, you need some chew toys, you need a leash and a harness or collar. Her collar hasn't come in yet. I did order um, one collar and leash set that I really liked but it's gonna be way too big for her, I think, at least for the time being. So I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this, but it's just kind of like a, I don't even know what kind of a material this is, but I mean, it's really nice. It seems like really good quality. I don't know if you can see that. Um, can you see that? But anyway, it's got a nice, like kind of like plaid type print and the hardware is all like a rose gold, which I thought was super cute. And I mean, the leash is strong. I mean, it's really good quality. I just, I'm worried that the collar is not gonna fit. And so I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep that yet. Um, I also ordered a pack of Burt's Bees um, cleansing wipes um, just to wipe off her feet if we need to, or to clean her up or, um, you know, whatever. I just thought it would be good to have a pack of doggy wipes. So these last couple things are just things that I thought were super cute. Do you want to come in the video? Do you want to show them all the stuff you're super excited about? Uh, you want to introduce them to Cedric? Your toy puppy? No? Okay. So Nick Daddy, I mean, I can't talk dog without them all coming running. I know the other ones aren't going to want to be in the video, but Nick Daddy wants to come and show you guys what he's excited about. Do you want to tell them what this is? Yeah. 
You yeah. Did camping. Yeah. So it's a little vest that we got for winter, but also because we're going camping soon and she is gonna come with us. And so this is just a super cute little vest. It's like fleece on the inside, it snaps. It's got a little hole in the back for the leash. Um, and so we got this because it, it does get pretty cold in the mornings and evenings here. And so when we walk her, we just wanted something to keep her warm, especially when we're out camping and um, you know we're outside for a while then I ordered you haven't seen this yet you didn't see this or this they just came in you like it it squeaks yeah so um so I ordered these little shirts these little turtlenecks <laughs> they're so cute so I'm gonna stick those under her vest while we're camping and these this was all off of Amazon I mean it was all super cheap actually um I'm trying to think like what the most expensive thing I ordered was I mean, it was probably the bed, and I think the bed was 20 bucks. Um, so she's got another collar coming because, like I said, that one is going to be way too big. But other than that, I mean, that's all That's all we got for her. It is a lot. It is a lot of stuff. It's definitely an investment. But most of the stuff, I mean, we'll be able to use and for a while. The toys, she's, she's going to have baby teeth, and so she's not going to be tearing up the toys anytime soon. And... Um, yeah, so that's it. So I'm gonna link all of this stuff in the description box below and um, Yeah, we can't wait for you to meet Olive. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already uh, Ring the bell if you want to be notified for future videos and thanks for watching We'll see you next time